My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how do you do? Jim, Quirk, doing all right. Uh, Good weekend. We're getting the first warm weather of the year. We're seeing 80s in the beautiful Northeast. And if you'll see in Baltimore this weekend, it's actually going to hit 90 degrees. 90 degrees in homers. Full weather forecast. How about them sports? Jim, in sports, to slide or not to slide? That is the question. And the answer has just been to slide. Our guy, Big Aaron Judge, made a little bit of a scene with his block shot this weekend. Brewers fans, big mad. Yeah. Salt. I didn't know that beer had so much salt in it. I stand with Brewers fans. Um, Ump's got it wrong. Umpires even said after the game, yeah, we watched it back. We got it wrong. That's our bad. He slides with his his hand up, which Judge says, I do that every time I slide in a second on a double play ball. You can look back at any picture you want of me slide in the second base. That's always happened. Yeah, because you're taught to get big like a bear. Reese Hoskins, I made a video, does it really well. And he has his one hand with the glove on it up and, and he blocks the ball, just boop, denied double play, which is illegal. You're not allowed, If the ball hits the runner as he's running, it's interference. They need to make better rules on it. Take it out of the umpire's hand and don't make it a judgment call anymore. Make one arm legal. Because when you're sliding, it is natural to put a arm up. Let them put one arm up. That would make Judge even have a bigger advantage, being the biggest man on the field. Well, then you would not allow, have to not allow them to wear that glove. They should have never allowed the glove. Well, Brett Gardner you invented know, that. You know that, Brett though. Gardner invented that glove. Hey, let me just make something on my hand that's bigger so I can get to the base easier. I'm for preventing... Should have always been illegal. For preventing injuries, but it feels like the oven mitt could have just been, like, smaller. It's pretty big. Judge should always slide like that. But if it hits you, it's interference. That's like the running to first rule. Jim, what was this almost a breakdown you're telling the people about? It's almost a breakdown. Spoiler Mm. alert if you haven't caught up with Slapball, the newest fad. The championship game came down to a five-second play. Five seconds left on the clock. Play Jake, captain of the team. And would you like to break it down for the people since it was your vision? This is kind of a traditional play that's been run by Valparaiso, Villanova, anyone with a V. You throw it to the big man and it's like, hey, there's a little bit of time left. And then you get it to the person you want to shoot. The only problem with this play is I told you the play because we commentated the game before this. And I said, this is the play I would do. There's a classic basketball inbounds play where you would throw it to Rourke, just pass it off to Jack. So there's a little bit of regret on that front. But the pump fake actually worked out perfectly because that part was not planned. I didn't think he had time to pump fake, so Luke and I both bit. It was awesome. The video from, I put out a mic'd up uh, edition, and the video of you celebrating is so cool, running around uh, cheering. Yes! 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 (laughs) Joe's McFly taking too much credit for the final play. He's taking credit? Yes, he's commenting, like, look at me blocking the goalie, and that was his job on the play? Yeah, he brought BBD across with him. He didn't do much. He's a big body. He's a huge body. I told him my directions to him in the play was mix it up down there. Yeah. He gave one mix. Yeah. I don't think he mixed it up. He should take credit for a lot of the saves he made. But he's like commenting on the videos like, oh, look at that distraction. It was awesome. Dub. And that goes, and now, and now, and now it goes to the more sports, which is brought to you by shop.johnboymedia.com. Look at that. Zach only wearing black as he's... The Prince of Darkness. MLB, the people have won, and we are the people. MLB is going to modify their uniforms after player complaints, fan complaints, complaints, and mostly a a tough product to look at. Mm, This is awesome because it's like, oh, you accepted. You, You are like admitting defeat. You guys failed at this. They're putting the blame completely on Nike. And that must have been some handshake deal where Nike was like, we'll take it. Fanatics is scot free. MLB is free. You wonder what handshake, like you mentioned, hey, Nike, you're going to fall on this. Everyone loves you anyways. Or like, were they digging through emails? And like Nike said, what if we made the letters a little smaller? Like, were they, were they the ones that actually said that? You know, who knows how ugly it got? They're really sweaty. Rodon and the Yankees road uniforms are soaking wet in the first inning. It's ridiculous. They tested him out in the All-Star game and apparently asked a handful of players, hey, how do you like him? And the players were like, yeah, cool. They like them. Fun. Just like probably just offering a nice quote. I think they're a little more breathable. 
So the guys like that. But, but they're ripping because they're so thin. They're collecting sweat because they're so thin. They're changing it, but not till next year. Right. Just a ridiculous failure. I think the quote was, Nike tried to innovate in an area that didn't need innovation. That's MLB's shots fired. And Nike keeps trying to do all this new yeah. stuff. Yeah. We're baseball. We innovated last year, and it's the best thing we've done in a while. Those uniforms stank. Speaking of not admitting defeat, uh, this couple in Utah that you befriended in the not sports. If you're someone who likes cats and mm. treating animals with respect, Ooh. don't listen. This couple in Utah shipped their cat. Cat's name was Galena. Looked it up. It's the name of a mineral and there's a town in Illinois. In Il Illinois. Bad. Ooh. Anyway, they shipped their cat in a Amazon return package. Mm. It was in a box without food or water for six days. Went from Utah to California. And then when it got to California, they scanned the chip and said, we got your cat. And they said that they were so stressed out. Uh, you know, there's two options here. They got rid of the cat or the cat tried to escape. And now Ooh. you send it back. And that's going to be a hostile environment for everyone involved. Yeah, I, I'm going to go with the couple shipped their cat. The husband did. And then when the, the microchip showed the cat was in California, they were like, oh, we didn't believe it at first. He didn't want to. Galena. Gross name for a cat. That's like a sexy Utah cat name. Probably call it Gal. Next on the stage, Galena. I did just picture a sexy cat when you said that. You're welcome. Which you were for Halloween in 2013. And we're going to show that. And, Zach, we're going to show it's a funny part in Anchorman, but her first job assignment is covering the cat fashion show. <laughs> I'm a sexy cat. That's what you said to I the woman at, in Pennsylvania. I had a Pennsylvania woman on November 1st. She said, what are you? She said, I'm a sexy cat. It's, it's the, the employee of the, the week. week. The employees of the Basically, week. Basically a bad award because there's five of them. So you split it five ways. It's nothing. I'm giving it to just Bobby then. Woo! Bobby's critique of the Falcons draft. The, the clip. Uh, millions of views. Across the social medias. Boom. And then the, his supporting act. They come on stage with him. Yeah. But Bobby's the, he gets the award for the, the one clip he had. Good clip, Bob. Falcons, your thoughts? Uh, that was the Weekly Dumb. Today's episode is brought to you by shop.johnboymedia.com. You can go there. We got tons of merch. We got cool merch coming out all the time. Comfort color shirts that are really comfortable. And um, also, also the warehouse games. That's life. What are you going to do with that? It's the magic I don't even need to edit that. Exactly.